I've had so much experience doing this. I need you to understand. Like literally every single day of my life, all day long, I'm communicating with men who have come to me for an answer. And the answer is, or the question is, Clark, I've tried everything. I've tried every diet. Like, what do I do now? I'm over 50, things are changing for me. I wanna live my life healthy. What do I need to do? So I get a lot of guys that come to me for my coaching. And as a man who coaches men over 50, it's pretty obvious that most of these guys have done a million fitness programs. Now, I, I exaggerate when I say a million fitness programs, right? But you understand what I'm saying. They've done a lot of fitness programs. They've been around the block. They've tried keto, intermittent fasting, paleo, carnivore, high carb, low carb, high protein, no fat, whatever. And it makes me think of the question, why do most fitness programs, why do most fitness programs don't work? And I don't think that's the question we need to ask ourselves. Most fitness programs actually work. The problem is the person working them. It's, I, I could put somebody on, I mean, remember diets like the cabbage soup diet, the Hollywood diet? There have been so many fad things that have come through that work, but I think the answer to the question of why most fitness programs don't work, taking the human element out of it, they're just not sustainable. Like no one's going to live on cabbage soup for the rest of their life. You could eat cabbage soup for two weeks, right? But you're probably going to be farting everyone out of the house. You're probably sick and tired of cabbage by the time that happens. So are you going to maintain the results that you got from really being in a calorie deficit? Because that is all the cabbage soup diet was. There was nothing magical about cabbage even though they may have convinced you, or all of the Hollywood celebrities are drinking this juice, the Hollywood diet, or the, the South Beach diet, which was the same thing, just some juice that you would drink that would put you in a calorie deficit that was not sustainable, or being in ketosis. It's hard to be in ketosis, like truly being in ketosis. Who wants to pee on a pH stick every day to see if your pH levels are keeping you, like if you truly know you're in ketosis, other than your breath stinking and your sweat smelling like ammonia, it's the way to tell her you're in ketosis is pissing on like one of the things you put in your swimming pool to see if the pH balance is right. That's not sustainable <laughs> and it's silly. I don't want to do that. Then you go to an ism veganism, carnivoreism, anything that suggests that this is the only way to eat typically is being funded by something. Like I remember the Netflix special that Arnold was a part of. What was the name of that, Jim? Do you remember? It was, it was about veganism. I can't remember the name of it. Someone comment below. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Game Changers or something like that, I think was the name of it. Game Changer. You can Google it real quick and see if that's truly what it was. But I, I, I think someone came out yesterday, I actually saw it on TikTok, where they were a part of that and admitted that that was all basically lobbying, right? They had an agenda that documented uh, the Game Changers. There was an agenda behind that that was suggesting that Arnold is a vegan now or a vegetarian or whatever, but they were pushing something that they were trying to benefit and profit from. Not that every vegan is pushing an agenda, but I don't think that anyone is saying that this way is the only way is someone you should listen to because they don't know your life, right? They don't know your genetics. They don't know what your body responds to. So for me to just blanket statement, come along and say, the only way that you should live is by never eating meat again. That to me is just stupid. So living in this very structured way, I think you're lacking in nutrients. 
that's a reason that these programs don't last and aren't good for you for the rest of your life and why they fail is because at some point, like if you're only eating meat, not just to attack vegans, but if you're a carnivore and all you're eating is meat, that will serve you well for a while. No differently than eat, being a vegan will serve you well for a while or a vegetarian or a pescatarian or a ketotarian or whatever the hell they call those people. For a moment in your life, just like people, a season, a reason, or for a lifetime, I think diets are for a season and a reason, but never for a lifetime. Unless it's balanced and you're getting all of the nutrients that your body needs. I hear people online, look, man, you could go on TikTok and you could watch a guy and he's saying something that you bought into. And then you could swipe up and a person could come right after that person as convincing, as fit, as believable and say the complete opposite of what that person just said. So where do you go? Like, what do you do at that point? Who do you believe? It's frustrating. It's confusing. It's hard. I get that. So I guess the takeaway from all of this is like, what do you do? I mean, I could sit here and harp on why programs don't work. And what I said at the beginning is true. The reason programs don't work is because you do not work the program consistently enough. There goes that word again that I use all the time. So what I like with my coaching program is I talk to the person and I find out what they've done, what they've tried, what they've experienced, what has worked best for them. And then we have a thoughtful conversation and then we lay out a plan that is sustainable. And then I re, I don't require is not the right word. I help coach them into sticking with that plan and being consistent with it because it's the human element in my mind as to why most fitness programs don't work. Because as I alluded to earlier, they will all work if you stick to them long enough. But the problem with all of them is they're not sustainable. So we create a sustainable program for you. Then we get you disciplined enough because you realize that you need to change, adapt or die, <laughs> in other words. If you truly want to be optimized and be at your best and not get caught up in a zombie apocalypse, again, you have to listen to all of these to kind of tie this thread line together. And I want to encourage you to do that. Like go through my whole playlist. And if what I've referred to has not yet come up, it'll come up eventually. And you're going to get what I'm trying to thread together. This could have all been one podcast, but I want to give you smaller episodes that you can digest. And that's another thing, right? Are you digesting your food? As we age, we get different intolerances to food, whether they come in the form of allergies or our gut health has changed. Like there's a lot of little things that we need to be aware of. And the only way that you can be aware of them, one of the best ways is through having your blood tested. You know, you get your blood tested and you find out where the nutrient gaps are. And then you fill those nutrient gaps with the right vitamins, the right minerals, because the food that we're eating today is not the same as the food that our grandparents were eating 50, 60, 70 years ago or whatever. So we need to get those gaps filled so we can be healthier, so we can have a sustainable existence. I, I've had so much experience doing this. I need you to understand. Like literally every single day of my life, all day long, I'm communicating with men who have come to me for an answer. And the answer is, or the question is, Clark, I've tried everything. I've tried every diet. Like, what do I do now? I'm over 50. Things are changing for me. I want to live my life healthy. What do I need to do? Balance is important. But maybe there's a period of time where you need to be out of balance. Maybe there's a period of time that we've determined through this conversation that we need to put you on something that is not sustainable until we get you to a place where you're feeling good and then we slowly transition you into something that is sustainable. That's where a coach comes into play. That's where a plan and a process and a system and experience works out. So I appreciate the question of why these diets and programs don't work. But what I appreciate more is when a man says, yeah, I realize it was me. It was me all along. I wasn't the one working the program. 
That is it. You got to be honest with yourself. As always, get busy living, make it a great day.